Welcome back, guys, to the uh, Onog circuit here. We are in the loser's bracket. We got Muzzy versus Risen. Um, these players both lost their, their opening rounds, and the winner will be facing VLPS uh, for a chance to go on to the finals as the second seed of Group B. So Risen is going to be our rogue player. Uh, Muzzy is bringing more traditional decks, but yet again, we see the Double Warlock Ban. I've seen a lot of Warlock Ban today as opposed to yesterday where we saw a lot of Druids. Um, what what kind of feel do you lie in? Like, do, you, do you like to ban your opponent's Warlock or Druid typically in these? Yeah, I think for the last, like, a lot of tournaments, every time there's been a ban, I feel like I've picked either uh, Warlock or Druid. Mm -hmm. They're just probably the two strongest classes right now. Uh, Secret Pound's always on, on everyone's mind, but I think that Druid is scarier against control, and Zoo is probably the stronger like aggro deck than mm -hmm. Sacred Paladin. So, well, I'm guessing that both of these players are playing fairly similar decks um, outside of the the fourth class. Muzzy's got the Shaman, Risen's got the Rogue. Um, it's it's a bit of a weird dynamic. Uh, the Shaman will probably destroy the Rogue, but the Rogue has a probably quite a good matchup against the Secret Paladin. So depending on how they match up, is uh, going to dictate the results a lot. Yeah, I mean, part of Ryzen's uh, problem here was in the last matchup, he couldn't pick up a win with his Rogue very easily, or I think he lost twice with it. Yeah. Uh, this doesn't look that much better for Rogue. I think part of it is Rogue it should be probably good against Druid, if anything, and not that great against Secret Paladin, maybe. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, it is Rogue versus Druid. This is an excellent Rogue hand at the very least. I think he's already mulliganed uh, as his cards are not lit up green. Um, it just looks solid. I mean, you have you have a lot of burst damage to counter an early innervate play. mozzie has got nothing, but nothing is probably better than innervating a 4-drop in this situation. Yeah. Ryzen's hand looks pretty good. <laughs> I've, I've come in this situation quite a lot, especially in, in some cases in Arena, where you have a lot of like early game minions or spells to deal with like a potential aggressive opener from your opponent. But sometimes when they have nothing and start the game on turn 3 or 4, and you're just out of range, it just feels terrible, actually. And I, yeah, I think Ryzen we might see something still... like that here. Ryzen can still play proactive minions every turn. Uh, he can just coin out that teacher. He can just play a size of 3-3. Three, three. Uh, I think it's fine either way. He even has a blood mage here to kind of play it on oh. turn 2. So. He's going he's gonna to innovate a Lothip here, right? That's much better than... Uh, uh, Drew a Claw, I think. Oh, okay. no. but a Lothip, Lothip just screws your opponent's turn. This guy's yeah. Right? I, I guess, yeah. There's also spell power you're leaving up, right? So... Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't get anything here. Definitely gonna have to trade the hero power. So, um, here's what does Risen have to do? Is the coin SI weapon? Maybe. That seems an okay play. Yeah, I would coin SI weapon. I don't think you can make any other play here. There's no way you're dropping a sludge belcher to a 5 2. And you still get that uh, Violet Teacher here, uh, Deadly Poison potential next turn. Which is a nice little move. Oh, and Backstab. Mm, I can only deal with 5, though. This is going to be the, the 6. So that's a bit tricky here. Yeah. Mm, you got to sap. You don't really want to sap that. You, you can't do anything else on the same turn. Is he actually just going to... Uh, Trade in his guy? I think he has to. The Violet Teacher is much more valuable. Mm -hmm. Okay. By oh, saving his backstab, I see. Oh wow, terrible draw from Muzzy. I mean, these are all super value draws, but value is, is not what you need right now. You need you need high tempo cards, and right now he's kind of stuck on like a shredder, I think. Yeah, or well, I wouldn't be that surprised if Force of Nature is the Violet Teacher just because that's such a big threat, you know, Violet Teacher. You don't want to be stuck dropping minions against Violet Teacher when they have, mm -hmm. also they have a weapon, 3-1 weapon. Uh, you just feel like you're going to fall further and further behind on, on the 1-1s, one and you know you don't have to swipe either, so I don't know. I like this. I like the 
blood. I think you have the force signature there. Risen choosing to play the minion rather than the prep sprint. Uh, feels like the the right decision there. Yeah, definitely ancient door here. Get some more uh, cards here. Set up for swipe wrath even. No reason yeah. to play ancient war, especially with sap still. Yeah, you only want to play an ancient of war when you absolutely are desperate. Yeah, because you can't afford traits that mana for two basically, and yeah, it happens too often. Well, he goes for the full sprint there. Well, now has two preps left over. He can still prep uh, something if he wants. He can also just backstab and attack with dagger. Feels like backstab is a good play here. Yeah, because if you... Um, you, you like, prep's always good, right? You want to save that for later. Mm -hmm. And your dagger's a 3-1, isn't that good, so... You know what I want to see? I want to see a... Van Cleef. Because right now there is no answer in the Druid <laughs> and two hand. two preps as well. And that Van Cleef can be giant. Yeah. Okay, so tons of options here at this point. You can almost do anything. Kind of just have to make a move quickly though. Okay, like this, not over overcomplicate things against the against the shredders because they're hard to deal with. Just sap one shredder, I think, and then play a bunch of minions. You don't have to remove everything that Drew has, right? Especially when you have a shredder, a belcher, and like a three five. You have so many things to trade well against the shredder. Yeah. I don't think there's any point in just forcing yourself to think about a removal. This is a really big swipe, though. <laughs> you can you can kill everything except the shredder. Um. But he can't play anything himself if he does that. Yeah, he also doesn't get to kill the slime, I think. Does he? No. Okay. Oh! oh my! Oh my god! This happened to me yesterday! Are you kidding me? Oh no. No, that's like done. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> so, I guess I'm swiping. You can't swipe. You I don't can't know. I think you have to swipe at this point. You have to be set it up. You can't not swipe <laughs> now. You can't not swipe now, I think. Oh. Yeah, okay. Riz so is like, that. so I have swipe. Okay. I think that's fine. Oh, that's actually garbage. Yeah, I think but he's 5 crop now. Or 4 crop. <laughs> there it is! I think here you kill the Lord Walker Cho first. Or do you. Uh, what if you just play Azure Drake and Van Cleef and go face? Leave up Lord Walker? Hmm. I think you might as well go for the spells, right? You have so many preps this turn. Mm hmm. Oh, he does not go for the prep there. He could have done prep sap into Cleef, yeah. filled the board. I think what he's trying to do is an extra load up with Van Cleef. I mean, either way, I think he'll win. Right? No, that doesn't really have much synergy, though, does it? Yeah, because you're mostly scary game. He's not BGH. playing as warrior. Yeah, you're right. The, the counters are silence in BGH. Yeah. I mean, even a five ten here is going to die quite easily. I think. Well, he's got spell damage swipe, he's got spell damage fan and knives, so that's just four from res residual damage. And he has spell damage blade for me. That's just a six doesn't even residual. Yeah, he has eviscerate too. Uh... Yeah, I mean, you have the one one, so I think you just start by swipe eviscerate. So... I think he has to fill the board first, then trade so he can play the Van Cleef at the end. Mm -hmm. Ooh, was that a good idea? Uh, no, that was not a good idea. I think he should have traded into the other one, the four three. No, I think he just shouldn't have traded, because he he needs this the board. He needs space on the board at the very end, not midway through the combo. I see.
Bro, he's preferring. Well, I guess an 8 8 and a 10 10 is kind of the same thing. So, I think that could have been a little bit better, but in the yeah. end, I don't think it makes any difference. I don't, I don't see it making a difference here. Yeah. He has to draw BGH, I think, otherwise. Yeah, with the swipe gone. somehow, but is that impossible? No. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, Laura Walker Cho, ladies and gentlemen. P people question yeah. why some of these seemingly terrible cards are in the game. It's so they can trigger off the good cards and create highlights. That's that's <laughs> why Laura Walker Cho, along with another couple hundred other cards, are in the game. Exactly for that reason. So on the back of that, Risen takes the opening game, but more importantly, he takes the first win with his rogue deck of the tournament. Um, and that puts him in a very good position as his other two decks, I think, um, without without too much uh, you know, doubt, are pretty strong. Yeah, I think his rogue needed to go against the Druid, too, because I, I don't think rogue is that great against Secret Pal, neither. Uh, I think it's okay. Like, rogue used to be good against Pal, I think, but after Mr. Challenger, I think it changed a lot, because... You don't really have great answers to Mr. Challenger in particular, so... Yeah, that's true. But you have great answers for everything else in the deck. Except Tyrion, I guess. Actually, Ragnaros kind of makes the... Ragnaros is more pretty good against Rogue, yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, who oh. knows? Well, anyways, picks up the Runyon's Druid, which is actually a pretty rogue favorite matchup here. Mm -hmm. uh, so now we have Ryzen being a little bit ahead with two solid decks, but... It's just one game off, so it's very easy to even this out right now. Yep. You definitely want to be in his position there. I don't think there is... Um, I think in terms of a Druids, there's almost no variants that I've seen. I know on Ladder, there's some variants that use, like, you know, some of them use MC Tech, some of them, like, double Ancient of War, some, like, only one. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's, there's like, the, the one or two card variants, but throughout, throughout most of the Onog tournaments, I've seen we've I've seen almost no variants at all. What have, and what have you seen? Um, like the super typical list, basically. Um, I think a lot of them have double Ancient of War. Um, yeah. Oh, double Ancient of War. That's pretty good. I think I think that's actually exactly the only difference. Is I think we've seen double Ancient of War, and I think we've seen Ancient of War and Sylvanas. I, I I think I saw Firebat make a post before where he said that uh, like if you know what you're targeting in Conquest, you should probably not be running double combo druid and be running like more tech cards depending on what you're targeting. Mm -hmm. So so how do you curve out of here in druid mirror? Well, you can innervate a shredder and then hopefully keep her something next turn. You might just keep her face next turn, honestly. Yeah, I like it. I like that the most because you're playing something every turn, right? If you innervate out Drill Claw, you're not doing nothing on turn three. So even though your turn four move with Keeper isn't exactly guaranteed to be good, it's whatever. You can still play it and then play another Keeper on turn four. I don't know. I still think it's okay. It's I think I saw Muzzy box. vaping there for a moment. Uh. <laughs> no, he ends up doing nothing here. Okay. That also makes sense. I think it was either do nothing or do uh, or or this. I think I prefer uh, an innervate Drew of the Claw in this position now. Yeah, I definitely prefer. Uh, it's just four or five. Uh, a four six lines up so good against this keeper here. Problem is, he might face an opposing Drew of the Claw, and there it is. And that makes it a little bit more complicated. Yeah, you can draw a call. I mean, you can uh, keep her this, I think. Can you? Yeah, kill it. Maybe leave a 4-2. I think it's fine. I was thinking about the Shredder. Because if you Shredder, you might end up uh, just clearing the following turn. Yeah, that's true. It's just kind of you're forcing yourself into the Shredder. and I mean, it depends if you want to play it. You don't get the option of coin of and stuff like that as much. Hmm. So, um, if Muzzy coins out Sylvanas, it's really risky. Uh, first of all, he, Wrath uh, could deal with it, right? Yeah, exactly. Wrath would steal, but if I guess if he trades, um, the Sylvanas would steal back the keeper. But I just don't like that move. It seems 
maybe he has to go for something like I don't know. It's actually a hard call to make because this is so temporary. Swipe, maybe. If you swipe, then you're behind on the seven drop, right? So now you're at to play against Ancient Lore or Doctor Boom with nothing, which is never where you want to be, right? He ends up going for the coin wild growth play. I'm not even sure about that. Because next turn you had a 6 drop anyway. And you had the coin if you needed mana acceleration for one turn after that. You could mm -hmm. just save the wild growth. Ooh. That's a good one. It is, but how do you supplement it? It feels yeah. like almost everything you play is, is, gonna, is gonna die. Yeah. I was actually thinking is. about a keeper. I was thinking about mm -hmm. just keepering down one of the one ones. Yeah, it's definitely reasonable. Keeper's also a nice body to absorb boot bots as a two four death one. Mm -hmm. So I think he wants to play two minions here over one, definitely. Okay. Let's see what the pull is. It is the other shredder. So next turn might be a little bit clunky, but so far it's looking good. Oh, I thought he'd go face with that boombot. I thought he'd go face too. I mean, you don't want to give him the trade, so it's, it makes some sense. But then again, like you're not carrying the whole shredder anyways, so. I have no time for games. Hmm. Yeah, Solanus is still good here. Uh, you can't really clear Solanus with the shredder. And because you'll steal a death, the uh, Muzzy would steal the death rattle. Looks like he has to, though. Well, what's he gonna get here? Oh, wow! Good thing he made that attack first. Yeah. I actually thought of perhaps attacking second, but uh, if he had done that, he would have been very upset. Hmm. Well, it's damage here. Muzzy has forced. hasn't. He hasn't drawn lore yet. Uh, he's basically just looking for a savager at this point. I guess somewhat it doesn't matter, right? Muzzy can win without savager based on tempo. Anoitron is so sticky here. Well, he has lethal right now. Even if he mm -hmm. hero powers. Force and wrath is a clear. But then, oh, that's actually interesting. If you force Wrath clear, Muzzy actually runs out of steam. Because I mean, Keeper's not a great minion to play and force the nature. It's, it's possible if Muzzy misses, that Ryzen can like take some time to make a comeback here, right? Okay, yeah, Ryzen makes the, the most aggressive board clear possible. He could have been a bit greedier there, chose not to be. Oh, so now he picks up his minion. That's a huge troll. He needed a minion to play here to keep up the tempo. Alright, he's got 8 from hand. Uh, I'm kind of so surprised that no keeper. Yeah. Oh, the keeper actually would have threatened lethal. Yeah, to keep her face, right? Yeah. Oh, Instead, really? he gives, uh, gives Risen a break. Risen floods the board. And this might be his game here with a few choice draws. Muzzy's gonna have to try to get something and seal it out here. Combo. Oh, that's a good one. That is a pretty good one. You still have to make a lot of decisions, so I think almost certainly he's going to be playing his Ancient War. Uh, but you still have a lot of potential things you can do. Um, I don't really like Trade for Emperor. Yeah, with two cards in hand, I mean, it's not that valuable of an Emperor. I feel like you just go face. Yeah. You also try 2 3 for free, but I think at this point the face damage is worth more. He could have won it, but the Keeper went face, though. Yeah. And now he doesn't even get to play Keeper this turn because of the Ancient War. Mm -hmm. I mean, face will give it 8 life plus the Force Nature Keeper is 8. Uh, there is a hero power which should give him nine, but then I mean, you still have a board, right? So, wow. Okay. Oh, he does the trade. Yeah. He's just given Risen so much time. Oh, and there's a keeper. <laughs> this could be a keeper ancient of lore. Uh, do you ever heal here? I think so. 
I mean, you're both pretty low on cards. If you can go out of combo range, you might just be able to fully control this game out. Nope. He goes for the draw. Oh, he picked up combo. So, uh... Muzzy's gonna die very quickly after this turn. I'm assuming well, this has to be a trade. Depends. There's, there's no way you don't trade here as... As Ryzen. Well, the Risen but, might be like, I'm dead to combo anyway, so what yeah, else kills me? <laughs> but he might miscalculate that, because yeah, 8 yeah, is yeah. not a common amount of damage. He might be like, you know, I can play around just Force of Nature by attacking face. Oh, wow. Because yeah. what I was thinking was, the Shredder doesn't even die. Shredder's a death row. In these situations, you like, break up your Shredder, it's still a powerful minion. A lot of times. Wait, Buzzy hasn't done it yet. Okay, okay. no, he's got it. He's got it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, that can't feel good. Yeah, a lot of opportunities from both sides uh, to, to steal the game there. But uh, in the end, Muzzy just narrowly seals it. And it is evened out. It's uh, going to be uh, Paladin Shaman versus Paladin Druid. So suddenly Muzzy looks to be in like a more favorable position. Yeah, um, Shaman's a good deck, huh? I don't know, this, this is kind of close. I guess Druid isn't great against Seeker Paladin, but All right. Shaman isn't, is okay against Seeker Paladin? It's okay, it's, I'm not sure what's, who's favorite actually. Well, I feel Paladin. like, no. I feel like the Shaman deck, um, can just run over both of those, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the time. Um, like, the, the Paladin deck just has a like i feel like between turns one and four a secret paladin has a turn where they do dude secret and like on that turn they start losing really badly against shaman um and if druid doesn't get the ramp it's kind of the same situation where they have like one or two dead turns the shaman gets way ahead and i think that kind of means the shaman is is doing pretty well against both of those yeah it seems like uh ryzen's ring into a lot of bad matchups recently like even last series with the Rogue and stuff, mm -hmm. uh, this Druid doesn't really have that many good matchups left either. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, anything can happen. I know you, uh, you're a big advocate for rolling dice when playing decks. Do you think there's, <laughs> there's anything more than that in, uh, in some of these Conquest matches? Hmm. In a band, it might be a little bit different. Uh, I haven't thought about it too much, but... I don't think there's too much reason in real conquests to, to not roll dice unless you're trying to mind games people. I mean, it's always good if you can mind games people. I guess it depends whether you think, like, whether you want to expose yourself to that or not, right? Because mm -hmm. if you roll dice, no one can really ex counter you, but you're not really getting that edge there either. So. I know uh, in yesterday's matches, uh, Lead Paint led with uh, Secret Paladin. Uh, in two out of the three openers, and apparently he was pretty famous for leading with Secret Paladin every single match in uh, in the prior tournament. Um, and his his reasoning was uh, that the deck is just good, so it doesn't matter if he goes <laughs> first. Okay, that's not true. You can definitely not that it matters. <laughs> you know, you, you just you go do that strategy in a casino, and I guess you're gonna lose. That's uh -oh. not. That's not. Strife Grove disagrees. Mm -hmm. Well, it is going to be Secret Paladin from Muzzy, and uh, Risen picks Druid once again here. Yeah, pretty good curve from Secret Paladin, although Secret Paladin always curves up good, it seems. Pretty much I, always. I, I do feel that Secret Paladin, again, through turns one and four, you always have like one bad turn, yeah. and it's kind of the window of opportunity for your opponent to start taking back the board. And yeah, they need to, because Paladin. by the time turn six turns around, yeah, swings the other way again. Kind of. He might have a Avenge here power turn, I guess. I, hmm, I, I don't, I don't really love it that much. I don't know. I'm not sure what I feel about playing that one instead of the mini bot mm. first. Well, we are going to see exactly what I was saying here. We're going to see Dude Avenge. Yeah. But it is, it is still pretty good. Yeah, Dude Avenge is still pretty good. Yeah, I think you definitely have to do an Avenge over Double Sack, because if you get Keepered, this way you have another minion for Avenge, whereas the other way, you have a Double Sack and Avenge, but Keeper kills your 2-2. Yeah. 
Alright, well, you definitely get keeper there. Whoa! That's interesting. I think you have to Shredder it instead of Kings. Just feels like you, you do get to keep it outside of range of that one. But turn five, a lot of times uh, people are going to be playing a five drop as Druid instead of Hero Power. So here he still doesn't even get the Hero Power the four one. Yeah, like you can't always Hero Power every turn as Druid. What do you think about Kings here? Kings and uh, Noble Sack. Kings on the Shredder. Kings on the Shredder? Yeah. Um, I feel like I like this move more. You kind of want to trade in your 4-1 while well, you can. Okay. I have no time this is a nice lead. Oh, so honest. One of the only things that could have gotten uh, Ryzen back in it, I still think that he's not in an easy position considering the Samus will take some time to, you know, die and steal a minion. Uh, looks like, though, that Muzzy might just trade in right now. I don't know, actually. Because he no, did just play Muster for Battle. Do you just go face he's gonna trade. I feel like trade because he played Muster. Decent. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, know. you're looking at, like, two and six are kind of bad, but only one and six is probably really bad, because he's probably going to get, like, a, something that's going to get eaten up by the, the problem, three, yeah. four off the Shredder. I feel like after he played Muster, he has to trade. Big, mm -hmm. If he doesn't trade, he just loses a swipe right now, right? But like, imagine going all face, you get, like, swiped, and then that... It's like, I think you're dead at that point. Wow. Nope. Okay. Face, I was it is. <coughs> but, wow. Does, oh, actually, does he have lethal there? If 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 he goes with this, like Sylvanas is going to kill the three four probably, so you can deal one, which is yeah, fourteen, no too. and then you have another thirteen. You're actually one off lethal with this play. One mana off lethal, and and one, or one damage off lethal. Hmm. What secret is that for Pelin? It's noble sacrifice right now. So I guess he has to hero power before killing the three four. Exactly, and because he has to do that, um, it, it sets up a bit of a clunky hit, which yeah. is probably why he's going face. But even still, it, it he he doesn't he has not set up for lethal. He's still one short, so it is a bit of a risky play. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if you were not going to trade for Sylvanas, I might have just like hero power played older man or something, but. <laughs> okay. That's well, this can this can be a disaster. Really oh <laughs> no! <laughs> wow. wow. Well, that that's still a ton of damage there. I think um, Muzzy can still win. You just old the man yeah. three threes, noble sack here, power you all in. Wow. No. I I think I prefer Kings here. Oldemon is much better if you run up against an Ancient of War. War, okay. Yeah. Oh, we know what Risen needs. It's the swipe. <laughs> Definitely needs a swipe. If he can full clear, it's it's just it's, it might actually be game. But if he if he doesn't draw it, oof. He's dead to one. <laughs> one if one minion stays alive, Muzzy wins this. That a swipe? No. So but he can't wait. No, he can get a taunt off the shredders. Yeah, and he can also play Force Nature to clear. Force oh nature. wow, that's true. Looks like he's not going to though. Not going to. No, the clear, the clear wouldn't work actually, because of Noble Sack. <laughs> Noble Sack would have prevented the clear on the final one one. So he has to get a taunt off this to have any chance, and he does not. Muzzy takes it. Yeah, even after the steal, um, it's just Muzzy was so far ahead before, so mm. still not enough to make a comeback here. He took a big risk. Muzzy took big risks against swipes, like really yeah. did, and it, and it paid off there. So. And now it's Shaman versus uh, two of the other top tier decks. We'll get to see how these uh, these matches roll out here. Uh, I've had quite a few predictions on on both sides, but I'm uh, I'm in the corner of the Shaman, even though, if I'm not mistaken, Muzzy is 
in this position because he 0-3'd with Shaman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time time to earn your worth, Shaman. Yeah. Yeah. Never thought that like, that would be the deck that could hold him back. Face well, Shaman. Yeah, it happens. But I think I think these are pretty decent matchups. Um, a lot of the time against Druid, I feel like it's a bit too late when the Druid starts to get going. Uh, if the Druid doesn't get a sick open, I mean, Druid is is that other deck that with the sick rack, ramp opener, you're just not losing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wait, at the same time though, Risen is playing Darnassus Aspirants, which is which is a bit weird. I think those cards actually fell out of the Druid list, if I'm not mistaken. Most Druid lists do not run Aspirants anymore. Uh, I'm guessing if you are running Aspirants, you're an anti uh, You're because no one's not running Tooling Roots at this point. So you have to be running like Tooling Roots and Aspirant, and at that point, I think you might be cutting one combo and running Ancient War or something like that. Or, mm. Yeah. Well, we saw two Savage Wars, didn't we? I think so, actually, yeah. Maybe so he, he cut a Shade for them or something. For one. He had a shade too. He had a shade. He had two Maybe savage roars. We only saw one force of nature. We saw one aspirant. We saw one ancient of war, and we saw one Sylvanas. Obviously, we there, I've that. actually seen some people run one, uh, one force, two savage roars, mm-hmm. uh, to cut some stuff like that. I don't know. Tunnel shrug. What more could you ask for? An overload Druid hand is really good. This Druid hand is sick. Uh, yeah. And that Shaman Hand is not great. No. That's, like, Talon Tribe's going to die to Wrath, and after that, there's going to be kind of awkward openings, although now there's Feral Spirits. So. Oh, it's so hopeful. It's like, I finally he, got it, but nope. Muzzy, uh, covered his webcam with the sheet of paper or something I just saw. Oh, he did that a little bit earlier. I think he might, might be a little bit under the weather. I think okay. he's covering up the sneezes and all the rest. Yeah, uh, okay. Just like me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. First, what comes down? It's not great, but a set of a board that seems like it can't be challenged. Wow, innervate, nice. <laughs> and innervate. Good top deck. So he's had a one drop as druid, a two drop, and then a coin three. That's very uh, rare, basically. Hmm. How about uh, this? No, you have to abuse it here, right? But this looks so bad. Well, can hmm. you like, like if you don't be? Ah, oh, I just can't see you play. Where what you if don't you just pass? What if you just pass a next turn? You do a uh, horse rider abusive to finish off the true to the claw. Uh, that makes sense. It just seems so out there, huh? But it's actually pretty good because you're expecting one trade. I mean, this isn't going to do that much because the keeper's going to come down. And, you know, it's not going to really achieve much. But this forces them to have the keeper, right? Without the keeper, then you don't get to kill both three, both the two threes. Yeah. Unfortunately for Muzzy, both of the cards in Risen's hand deal with the situation pretty well. Yeah. So Muzzy's not going to be able to push for almost any damage in the early game. And I think this is a pretty bad spot as a result. There's even a swipe just to clear the two, one, two ones. Uh, he wouldn't even need to use it. I think he'd play any other card if he draws one. Uh, definitely any other card if he draws one. But I feel like you don't draw anything, then maybe just use it, right? Yeah. Earth well, shock. Here, but Whoa. I, I just don't see Muzzy win the race at this point. It's not that he doesn't have enough damage to kill Ryzen, it's the fact that Ryzen will kill him before. Right? Yeah. Like you doom me over here for four, then you're taking three, Emperor's throwing eight next turn plus a swipe, and you're already ten life down. So that's the main problem for Muzzy, is that he's gonna die before Ryzen. What do you think about Earthshock? I feel it's a card that I haven't seen in this Shaman list for, for some time. Yeah, I, I think uh, one of is pretty common. But... Okay, there goes Emperor. He's going to be met with a Rock Biter, but again, um, he's just so low on health right now. Playing defensive is not Shaman's strong suit, so... Once they have to play defensively like this, you know, they're, they're in a rush. Roll it! Ooh. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, it kind of gives him a chance still. I'd say it's still a low chance. I'm assuming Druid's going to troll something. I mean, every Druid draws should be decent. Even this cycles, you can hear it's power. Kind of tragic, but... Yeah. 
Oh, it's wow. really crappy. Yeah, keep her face. It's gonna be a 12. No, he's the... not gonna keep her. Oh, what? yeah, he is. Okay, it's, it's three. Okay. three. No, I, I thought it was four mana. Okay, I would be oh, really surprised if there was a keeper. Yeah. I don't know if Muzz even wants to rock fight her in that. To take two more damage, because you have to. No. Oh, that's a taunt, okay. Makes sense. Oh, and the double juggle. That's very big. Well, wow, Muzzy's actually making a comeback playing the Control Shaman. Uh, two are kind of like Dead Draws and Ryzen. That's also kind of a bad draw. It just doesn't fit in properly. It doesn't fit in at all. If only Swipe was two mana, you could hear power once more. This is actually going to be... Very close, it seems. Maybe you just count some outs here as Ryzen. Do you are you that desperate? I don't think so. Maybe I think I just play Shredder and Wild Grass. Swap the juggler. It still sets the totem as a two one. So they also the positioning her. is favorable. Yeah. Because if he doesn't have another minion, both totems yeah. are gonna be to one side. Yeah. Hmm. You get the double hero power here. I think I like that. Yeah, you definitely double hero power. You Urshock could trade that and probably. But you should start by making a totem, right? I think you should start by trading in and then making a totem because you get, get a taunt again. Yeah. Hmm. That th this one seems most reasonable to me. Alright. And then Good oh, stuff. Nice. Rewarded for good play there. Yeah. Shapeshift Ooh. here, definitely. Yeah, shapeshift, shapeshift is... is giving you two damage, like just just like the hunter here, her, and it's giving the armor you need right now. I wonder if you would. Uh... No, you probably want to rock biter at the very end. You don't want to know. You don't want your opponent to know what cards you're holding. Wow, Risen draws dead again. I don't think Risen could have possibly drawn so badly. I think this is it. Especially with that attack. That's game. There's easily 20 da Oh my god. There's considerably over 20 damage here. Actually, no, it's just, it's just one over. Okay. Well, that's over. Yep. And that is gonna be it. I think, I think you're muted, Strifecar. Oh, oops, I was muted. Yeah. My bad. I've been just casting myself. <laughs> it's okay. Just, just pretend I said a lot of words. That yeah. Really okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is gonna be that is gonna be match point. Uh, Muzzy yeah. takes uh, takes the third there. Uh, Risen uh, is knocked out of the tournament, and Muzzy will advance the play of VLPS in the decider match. That is going to be our next match. Um, so it's going to be uh, a match we haven't seen yet. We haven't seen VLPS play against Muzzy so far. Uh, actually, it's going to be the case that VLPS would have played all three players in uh, in the group. Yeah. So the next match is like everything for these players because whoever wins this match gets in, and whoever loses out. So this is like the I guess the highlight of this of this turn so far, so yeah, and it is uh, Muzzy's just playing the the solid decks, while VLPS has uh, brought a lot of uh, control flavor. Uh, so I'm kind of curious how that is going to go down. Uh, we will be back after about uh, a three-minute break to get set up for our uh, final game of the night. Uh, while we are on break, I encourage you guys to check out geico.onog.gg. You guys can check out uh, the giveaway that's happening for uh, CyberPower PC. You can also see the, the schedule of the tournaments, what's going on, and if you wish, you can choose to sign up for uh, an entry in an open tournament of your own. You can win some money, you can get some fame, and uh, you know if you do well enough, you'll uh, end up in some of these future tournaments and uh, uh, you know, get a little bit of a bigger slice of uh, of each of those. So check that out, guys, and uh, we'll see you guys.